Hey guys, it's Stephanie. So it is June and I am preparing to clip fame for the summer for the first time. And I actually purchased a slightly longer blade than the one I used to clip him for winter time. Um, that I found out was a fine blade and the one I'm gonna use today is a medium blade. So I thought you guys might wanna see the difference in the two lengths. Um, the reason that matters, uh, especially for him, is because he's a light colored horse. I want to make sure that he doesn't get sunburned in the summer. So we're going to be testing this out. I'm not going to do any fancy designs this time just for lack of time. Uh, my first video, if you watched it, was 10 hours of trying to figure out filming and clipping and designs. And then the second time when I just had to redo the designs, it took me about four to six hours. So I'm hoping this time it'll be like two to three. <laughs> this is so annoying. I bathed him yesterday and got him beautiful. And then this happens. What did you do that for, huh? Did you know? Yeah, I'm kind of shaming you right now. Also just noticed that he ripped out a huge chunk of his tail. Look at this. Ugh. Oh my goodness. How did you do this? Did someone chew this? Or did you rub your butt on something and tear it out? This is why you can't get too attached with these hairy guys to the gorgeous hair because like, as you can see right here, like they'll rip it out, they'll do something. Huh. These spots are always really tricky where there's lots of folds and you gotta like pull the skin. I was surprised, like there's some parts here on his chest where I've started trimming. You can kind of see the difference, but his hair on his chest is actually pretty short. Where I think we're gonna get the most benefit is here on his neck. And you can kind of see where it's shorter. His neck, of course, too, with his mane gets pretty sweaty. I think his butt is gonna really benefit. And then down here under his belly, his hair was a bit longer. But you can definitely see the difference on the belly. I do find it worthwhile to sweep up when I'm taking a break and letting the clippers cool off because it gets really slippery. So this is kind of a bummer. You have to put oil into the clippers every like five or 10 minutes. And then sometimes the oil kind of leaks, like it gets the friction of the metal, creates that Oh, hi. Creates this black stuff that ends up getting on his neck. So these are not wounds. It's just uh, where the, the oil from the machine has left little streaks. I forgot my knife. So we're taking a little break. So we're gonna do the, the mama bird, baby bird method. <laughs> he only started liking apples this year. He saw his buddy Bentley eat an apple and suddenly apples were okay. Oh. You gotta wait your turn. done some clicker training. It's been a little while, but this is one of the hardest and most important things for them to learn is self-control around food. They just wait for him to return to neutral and then he gets the click in the tree. We do good. We're about 40 minutes in and I'm like almost halfway done with him. So this is looking really good. This is a good example of where you can see the difference between his summer coat and the clipped. Now this is really interesting. When I clip him, you can see a lot more of the white hairs in his dark patches, almost like a roning.
so I'm really happy with how it turned out. It took me an hour and a half this time. Yay! I think this will be a really happy medium between him being clipped and not getting so hot when we're doing trail riding and getting sweaty and gross, but then also kind of protecting him from the sun. And look at, look at how his muscles just pop. I feel like he looks so handsome clipped. Don't you think? Yeah. Yeah, he's a handsome guy. Look at my lead rope. It's like a furry caterpillar.